you really are Mother Nature. For now, but one day soon, that job will be yours. What? Me? Now I know you've lost your mind. I love the expression on your face. I imagine I looked the exact same way when I was your age and found out. I don't care how I look. What is this place? We call it the Maparium. It helps me monitor the world. How long has it been down here? Long before the house was built, I can tell you that. Of course, there wasn't all this technology back then. But how? Why? Both excellent questions. I was handed this by my grandmother, Fern, and she by her grandmother, and on and on, skipping a generation since the beginning of time. So, Mom... Your mother has no idea. I kept it from her to protect her. This is insane. There's no such thing as Mother Nature. It's... it's a silly story. Can you really say that, Chloe? After what you've witnessed? I mean, just look. There's an opossum nodding his head at you. I don't... I need to get out of here. You can't run from this. It's your destiny. When you turn 18... What's that? See those pulsating red dots on that screen near Rio de Janeiro? That, I'm afraid, is a hurricane. A big one. You... you caused it? No. The job is not to control the forces of nature, but to maintain balance. The Earth can be very demanding. You'll learn to meet its demands. Stop saying that! Nature is willful, like someone else I know. It will always follow its course, also like someone I know. You can intervene, but only when absolutely necessary. Like a good mother. It's getting harder and harder these days, though. Climate change, the arrogance of man. And there's... there's something else. What do you mean, something else? I wish I knew. Lately, everything has been extreme. Bigger storms, droughts, wildfires, mudslides. The balance is out of whack. As I said, it's as if something is testing me. It's building. I only hope I'll be strong enough to contain it. But how? What about science? Science only explains what it can explain. There is much it cannot. Come with me. I have something to show you. Come where? Deeper. Take this key from around my neck and put it in that lock. But isn't it just a wall of... Oh, that's a lock. Another cave? Where I keep my most precious and powerful possessions. Especially this one. How old is that book? This, Chloe is the Book of Nature, the source of all knowledge and power. It's got all the incantations, recitations. The pages are all brown and crackly. You must be very gentle with it and protect it with your life. Oscar, do be careful. The words, are they moving? For you, they rearrange themselves for each new generation. It will be your book, your teacher, after I'm gone. Gone? Not for many years, my dear. I have so much to show you first. Your other nature. For the last 60 years, four months, three days. And no one knows? No one can ever know. Do you understand me, dear? You never told anyone? Oh, once, many years ago, I slipped. Your grandfather had just died, and I was raging. They kept calling it the storm of the century, and they were right. A little boy almost got killed because of me. I saved him, but he saw me. That's the only time anyone ever saw me use these powers. 
If they were to fall into the wrong hands, the entire world could... No. What is that? Someone's in the house. What? Who? Stay back, Chloe. Grandma! Put the book away. Stay down here with Oscar. Where are you going? What are you going to do? You don't want to know. I'm coming with you. No, Chloe, get out of the elevator. Too late. You're not ready. For what? To go to war. With who? I don't know yet. What are you going to do? Whatever I have to. Vis naturae intrusis defendere. You're breaking a storm? In the house? Ignis Luna. Ah! What's happening? Felix? Chloe? Grandma, stop! It's Felix! Felix? What are you doing here? The door was unlocked and I... Was that another earthquake? You need to go, Felix. Now! But... Grandma, turn off the alarm! Yes. I just wanted to talk. This is not a good time. Just go! Okay. Chloe, I'm sorry I... Overreacted. Overreacted? You could have killed him. I was simply defending the... I, I can't do this. I, I can't. Chloe. Chloe, come back. Good evening out there, Weather Watchers. Duncan Sunshine here. Do you know what today is? It's Bring Your Daughter to Work Day, Daddy. <laughs> That's right. Joining me in the studio today is none other than the light of my life, my little girl, Ray O. Sunshine. Say hello, Ray. What up, Weather Watchers? It's me, Ray, here to remind you to join me in the fight against climate change. I'm going to save the Earth. Daddy? Yes, sweetheart. Do you know what else today is? I do. It's the 40th anniversary of what many call the storm of the century. Yes, it hit without warning and with power rarely seen on this planet. Howling wind and punishing rain, tornadoes, tidal waves, mudslides, wanton destruction. Sounds like a movie. It was very real. Take it from someone who barely lived through it. And you believe there's another one coming, don't you, Daddy? I believe that our own storm of the century is on the horizon. I see it in the extreme weather patterns all around the world. Pressure is building. What will Mother Nature do this time? You can be sure Duncan Sunshine and Rayo Sunshine will be watching. This is crazy, Chloe. You got hit in the head, or you lost your mind, or... Chloe! Chloe, please stop running. I'm not going back to that place. That woman is... You need to stop, dear. <gasps> How did you get over here so fast? My friends gave me a shortcut. Your friends? I know this is overwhelming and frightening for you. I remember being your age, feeling like the world had spun off its axis. Uh, do you control that too? <laughs> Sit. Sit, Chloe. Okay, I'm sitting. Now what? Shh. Close your mouth and open your ears. Listen. A little night music. It's like a symphony. The deep croak of the red-legged frog, followed by the chirps of the field crickets, the singing of the black turnstone, and the quacks of the harlequin duck. Yeah. It's exquisite. And to think this is merely one patch of land in one part of the country, one tiny part of the world. Nature is a responsibility of epic proportions, darling. I know, and that's why I don't think... Ah! I'm off! Don't swat at it. It's a wandering tiger moth. An important part of the fragile ecosystem, whether you like it or not. Get it out of my hair! Hold your finger out. Ew, don't make me touch it. Repeat after me, Diacresia Casloa. What will happen? Just do it. Diacresia Casloa. <gasps> there, there! See those delicate wings? It's like holding onto my finger. Be 
Obeying Mother Nature is a responsibility, but it's also an honor, a privilege. This work is everything, and it's going to ask everything of you. Can I let the moth go? Yes, you may release it. I need to know you're hearing me, Chloe. I need to know you can fully commit to this training. But what about my science homework? You'll learn more about science in the next few days than you ever will in a classroom. The water from this book constantly traps the air into bubbles. Those bubbles emerge at the surface, and the babbling is a result of those bursting bubbles. Oh. Look around you, Chloe. You are intimately connected to all of this. Wars have been fought over lesser privileges. Grandma, I'm from Cleveland. I'm a city girl. I'm good with buses and movies and... What about now? What about right in this moment? Take a deep breath. Slowly inhale and feel it all surrounding you, rushing through you. <coughs> I think I swallowed a bug. <laughs> Do you want to know how connected we are? When a mother nature passes away, nature goes into mourning. For 36 hours, everything stops. There are no storms, no volcanoes, no earthquakes. It's perfect calm all over the world. Until the new mother nature officially steps in to control the chaos. <coughs> What if I can't do it? You were born to do it. And we'll have plenty of time to train together before you take over. Five years of studying the Book of Nature. Learning to manage the elements, the creatures, the weather. You'll have to work hard every day. Five years. Tomorrow... On your 13th birthday, we'll go to the beach and officially mark the beginning of your training. You can expect a storm, but together we'll step into the ocean and I'll present you with the book in a ceremony that dates back centuries. And when you're 18, the key will be yours too. The key around your neck? The one you used to open the secret room? It's not just a key. It has come to contain the power that will be bestowed upon you. You'll wear it always. And when you have a granddaughter, you'll pass it to her. Granddaughter? What if I just want to be normal? A normal kid at a normal school having a normal life? You're not normal, Chloe. You never have been. You must know deep in your heart. But this is your chance, your chance to prove who you really are. Okay, Grandma, let's do this thing. Grandma? Oh, hello, Chloe. Is it morning already? Happy birthday, darling. I got you something. Ah, it's uh, a possum again. He likes you. He has your gift. Oh, it's in his mouth. How lovely. Hello again, Oscar. It's a snow globe. Not just snow. Shake it up. It's turning to spring. And summer and fall. All the seasons in one globe. What we're seeing is an unprecedented amount of energy in these weather systems. It's too early to predict where they'll make land, but if and when they do, someone will be feeling the wrath. Duncan Sunshine, the man is a colossal blowhard. <sighs> you should meet his daughter. But he's right this time. The energy gathering around the world is something I've never experienced. Like someone else is messing with the weather. You mean like pumping chloro, fluoro, whatever's into the environment? More extreme. Something bad is happening. 
But you can balance it, right? That's what you do? I'm not as young as I used to be. As we begin our training, I'll be calling on you to help. Wait, already? You've already shown you have great power inside you. Nobody ever saw anything in me before. It doesn't matter what other people see. It's what you see that counts. One day, they'll owe their very existence to you. No pressure or anything. My darling Chloe, you have no idea how strong you are. You might be the best of us all. And the world is going to need every bit of it. Now, go get ready for school. Do I really have to go? What about the ceremony? It's important that you maintain that other part of your life. It's the only way to keep this part safe. I'll see you at the beach after school. Okay. Grandma? Yes, Chloe? Thank you. For trusting me. I know I've been a screw-up for most of my... Shh. I love you, Chloe. You're meant for great things. And it begins today. And old Mother Nature, she's not your friend, folks. When the storm comes, duck and sunshine. Oh, is the shut one you up. Can count. Today, we will study the life cycle of the butterfly. Who can tell me what we have in this tank? Ew, they're cocoons, but they look like spider webs on a stick. Very good, Ray. The silk of a butterfly's cocoon is similar to the web of a spider. You're welcome. If you look at the butterfly on my screen... That's a wandering tiger moth in the picture. I'm sorry. <laughs> Chloe, right? That's a tiger moth, not a butterfly. <laughs> ah, you're right. I must have mixed up my images. <laughs> Cats, giraffes, and now bugs? That's our zoo girl. I asked you not to call me that. <laughs> Sorry, but I mean, look at how lovingly she's touching the tank. Diacrisia Kesloa. Diacrisia Kesloa. Metamorphosis. Diacrisia Kesloa. Diacrisia Kesloa. As usual, Ray. Diacrisia Kesloa. What did you say? Whoa. Butterflies are hatching. Diacrisia Kesloa. We're getting out of the tank. Diacrisia Kesloa. Hey, get it off me! Diacrisia Kesloa. They're all landing on Ray. <laughs> what is happening? Ah, get away! Help! Help! What are, what are they doing? You, you, get off me! Ah, help! 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 Uh, uh, I'm getting out of here. Ah. I think they like you, Ray. Hey, look who it is. My favorite passenger. Why is it always you? Just lucky, I guess. Ismail, remember? Right, Ismail. So we're heading to the beach, are we? What's the occasion? Uh, how do you know it's an occasion? Figure of speech. How's your grandmother? She's... not like I expected. <laughs> is that so? Have you been listening to her? She's very wise, I'd imagine. You know my grandmother? Hailstorm. There is something you don't see every day. Of course. You want me to turn around? I think it's supposed to happen. Pull over right here by the beach. Would you like me to stick around? No, I'll be fine. Ow! Ow, stupid hail. Remember when you picked me up that first time and you said all that stuff about finding my destiny? I think you were right. I came to live with my grandmother for a reason. I'm glad to hear that. Thanks for the ride, Ismail. Listen, please take my car. Next time you need a ride, call me. Ismail, I'll help you get where you need to go. Hope to see you again, Chloe Lovejoy. Good luck. Good luck with... Chloe? Felix, what are you doing here? You mean besides trying not to get killed by falling golf balls? I saw you get in the car and I... I sort of held onto the bumper and rode behind on my skateboard. You followed me? Why? Your grandma. She's been really nice to me since I was a little kid. But I've been worried about her lately. She barely goes outside. She seems paranoid. You mean like what happened last night? Gotta say, that freaked me out. Your grandma seemed 
really upset. I've never seen her like that. She's just... paranoid about people in the house. What are you doing here? Well, today's my birthday. Happy birthday! I'm supposed to be meeting my grandma here. See, there's this ceremony when I turn 13. Oh, you mean like a bat mitzvah? Grandma Ivy said there would be weather. I didn't know it would feel like the end of the world. What are you talking about? This storm? It's supposed to happen. My grandma said it would be like this. What do you mean? It's supposed to happen. Never mind. You should go. I'm not going anywhere until you tell me what your deal is. Okay. You really want to know? Okay, fine. See, when I got here, I thought she was weird. But then there was the downpour and the blizzard and the animals and she said it was me. And I assumed she was old and crazy until I found this back cave thing, only it monitors the whole world in this old book and... and... And my grandmother's mother nature, okay? <laughs> You're hilarious, Chloe. I'm not trying to be hilarious. I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Because the world depends on it and... Whoa. What happened? Where did the storm go? What? It's like there's not a cloud in the sky. Even the ocean went calm. How does that happen? And where's your grandmother anyway? Grandma! Chloe? Chloe! Daddy! Daddy, you're not going to believe what happened to me today. There were these butterflies, and they all, like, landed on me, and... and Ray, they... I'd like to show you something, Ray. Did you hear what I said? I was attacked by butterflies! Come with me. What are you doing? Why are you moving the rug? Is that a door in the floor? I didn't know this was under here. It's time I let you in on a little secret. Follow me. What's down here? A secret weather center? What are all these machines? I invented them myself. What do they do? Are they super accurate at predicting the weather? I don't just predict the weather down here, Ray. I affect it. What? Look at the monitor. See this storm brewing in South America? I have one of my satellites right above it. I can use microwaves to add energy to this storm or any other. It's still fairly crude, but it serves the purpose. Purpose? Daddy! Yes, Ray. Purpose greater than any weatherman in the history of meteorology. By intensifying these storms, by building to the biggest storm of all, I'm putting pressure on her to respond. Her? Who is her? <gasps> what just happened? Where did that storm go? Uh, where did all the storms go? They're they're gone. They're they're all gone. Every cloud, every wind gust. It's like all the weather in the world went quiet. <laughs> it worked! I did it! I got to her! Grandma? Why weren't you there for the ceremony? Grandma! Chloe! Felix! What's wrong? I don't know where she is. Grandma! Grandma! Chloe, come quick! No. Where are you? I'm in the living room. She... she fell asleep on the couch. I... I don't know. Gra Grandma? Chloe, there you are. Grandma, what's wrong? Your wife has a ghost. Felix, call 911. Okay. Grandma, we need to get you to the hospital. Shh. It's all right. When it's time, it's time. Chloe. Death is as natural as the rain. Don't say that. Take the key, Chloe. What? No! You must take it. Now is not the time to be stubborn. Okay, I'll take it. But just for now, you're gonna be fine. With the power vested within, under the watchful eye of all the generations before me... What are you doing? What is that you're saying? Hush, girl. Under the watchful eye of all the generations before me, I bestow on thee the powers of nature's mother, nature's keeper, 
humbly. Natura mater transferate. Natura mater transferate. Natura mater transferate. Yes, I'm, I'm gonna need an ambulance. Grandma! Stay with me. Grandma! 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 